what up fam there is like so many things that you can do with a leftover rotisserie chicken and let me tell you cheesy delicious chicken quesadillas is one of them let me show you how easy it is to make a chicken quesadilla what up my youtube family so today we are going to make a simple quick easy and fun recipe um i don't know if y'all know this about me um yet but i preserve everything so basically i'm making some um loaded chicken quesadillas today but what i am going to be using is some leftover rotisserie chicken listen preserve your food do not throw it away if you had rotisserie chicken the night before don't into some leftovers here's what you can do with the leftover chicken so as i said like i said earlier i got some um leftover rotisserie chicken this is um part of the breast so i'm going to be shredding this up for my uh quesadillas i have some um already cooked bacon that i cooked up like a couple of slices i got some mushrooms i got some red bell peppers i got some red onion i got some spinach i got some taco cheese and under here i have a little bit of hot banana peppers um over here i have my taco seasoning because that's like basically all you will need is just some taco seasoning um, I also have this sofrito here and also some Velveeta cheese because what I'm gonna do is combine these two together and that's gonna make for a awesome cheese sauce for our quesadillas and over here of course I just have butter and I have my shells so yes yeah, so let's get into the recipe this is going to be like a one pan job too all you will need is one pan i'm just using my favorite pan right here that you guys always see and uh yes yeah, so let's get into the video guys all right y'all what up okay so we have our pan here nice and hot so what i'm gonna do first is start with some butter for the bottom of my pan just regular butter for the bottom of the pan and what we're going to do first is start sauteing our veggies so let's melt this butter down melt this butter down to the gram down to the gram hope everyone is doing spectacular Thank you for watching. If you have not already, please go subscribe. And do not forget to turn on your post notification bell so you can know each and every time your girl drop a video. So, let's start with our, so here's our beautiful tray. Here's our nice mise en place. Mise en place. So let's start with our onions we're gonna put on there. Our red bell pepper. We are going to also add our mushrooms. All right. So let's get this nice and sauteed up until those whew, until those veggies are nice and perfect with a slight crunch. We don't want them too mushy. So I'm just going to saute this and let this saute in this butter, guys. And I'll be back once it's to my liking. Be back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. So now my veggies is exactly where I want them. Let me just zoom in so y'all can see. They are nice and sauteed and they are not mushy. So now what I'm about to do is add in our leftover rotisserie chicken. I'm just gonna shred this up, start shredding this up with my hands. It's nothing fancy, just shred it up and add it right on in there. That's it, easy. Don't overthink it. When you overthink it, your food don't come out good. Don't overthink it. 
Shred it up with your cl nice clean hands. A little goes a long way too. Look at all that chicken. That's just half of a chicken breast. That nice juicy meat. Okay, I also switched utensils, y'all, because I forgot I'd be scraping y'all ear off. So I'm going to see how this works for me. Because I don't want to scrape y'all ears to death here. Okay, so let's give this a nice stir. See if I got enough chicken. Smells so good. Nothing like a good cheesy quesadilla, baby. So I think I think I'm gonna do like six. So I think yeah, this is good. Cause you don't want to super overpack your quesadillas either. So I think this might get me six. We'll see. It's all good. So now. We are going to add our bacon. Just a little bit of bacon I made. We're gonna add our bacon. We're gonna add some, a little bit of diced hot peppers. And we're going to, ow. Ooh, that hot pickle juice, um, that hot pepper juice, y'all, got into a scratch I had. That joint burn. Okay. Now we added in our hot peppers, our little bit of bacon. We also added in our um, freshly chopped spinach. I'm going to turn this fire down. And now we are going to add some taco seasoning. A little bit of taco seasoning. This is really all the seasoning you need too, y'all, because, you know, taco seasoning is dry salty. So, add in that, and I'm also going to add a splash of water. And let's give this a nice stir. Look how quick this was, y'all. Easy peasy. I cannot make this stuff up. This is easy. So you could go in with some more seasonings of your choice. I'm keeping it real nice and simple. Like I said, I'm, all I need is just the taco seasoning because these veggies is going to bring flavor. My little cheese sauce is going to bring mad flavor. So I'm good right here. I think that is just about where I want it because you know the chicken of course y'all is already cooked so now what I'm gonna do guys is scrape this um, out of the pan transfer it over to a dish and I'm going to be back to start building and toasting these bad boys I'll be back okay y'all what up I'm back so remember when I showed you these two ingredients here we have the Velveeta cheese and we also have the sofrito. What I did is added these two together and I made a nice cheese sauce. This stuff right here is so bomb and it is going to complement your quesadilla so well. It is packed with so much flavor. So the ratio you want to use, of course, more Velveeta cheese than sofrito. You kind of making like a, um, let me show you what it came out like. It's kind of like, it reminds you of almost like a, maybe like a queso, maybe like a queso cheese. So that's how it came out. Just like this, nice and cheesy. And I'm going to spread this on my quesadillas as I build them. So let's get to 
building. So of course, what we gonna start with, y'all? Come on. What we gonna start with? Butter. Come on. You thought I wasn't when I was? We using the same pan that we cooked our veggies in, we, that we're cooking our veggies in because this pan is just seasoned with flavor. There's no need to switch this pan out. So let's add in some butter. And I'm just gonna demonstrate making um I'll make a couple for you guys. I'm gonna show you how I build them. It's easy. But I'll show you how I build them. So here we go. We got one shell, two shells. We are going to lay down. You gotta make sure you move kind of fast because you don't want that other side to burn. So I got some double cheddar cheese here. I don't know if y'all can see it. There you go. I got double cheddar cheese and I got taco cheese. So let's spread that evenly. I'm gonna turn my fire down even more. Okay, let's spray that nice and even. Spray, look at me. We gonna spread that out nice and evenly like that. Then I'm gonna take some of my delicious filling. Ooh, this stuff's still hot. And I'm gonna lay it right down there, just like this. Lay it down just like that. I should make. You know what I could do? I could double it. I ain't go. I ain't go OD. I ain't go OD. Okay, so. Let's take some of that good old sofrito cheese mix, just like that. Not too much, you don't want it to be too, too sloppy. Okay, just like that. So let me do the, the one in the back that I totally forgot about. Some cheese. I'm gonna turn this down even, you know what, I'm turning it off, y'all, because I'm scared I'm gonna burn it. Because you really gotta move fast. When it comes to this part, you gotta move fast, bruh. Okay, let's add in some filling back here. Oh my goodness, this looks so daggone good. Okay, let's add on some of our cheese. Our cheese filling. Just like that. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? Little bit more shredded cheese at the top because it's your quesadillas. Make it how you want to make them. Smash that down. Smash that down. And we can probably flip. Let's see. Can it be more toastier? Perfect. One, two, uh oh. One, two, three. Don't be scared. One, two, three. See that? See that? Beautiful. Beautiful toasted. Let me turn my fire back on. I'm going to let that other side toast up nice and good. Then we going to be back to plate these bad boys. It's about to be on. Okay, y'all. So with the ingredients um, that I had, the amount was able to make five quesadillas. So here they are. Five quesadillas. Let me cut into these bad boys, plate them up, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, here is the finished product. Here is our ooey gooey delicious rotisserie chicken quesadillas. Simple, not even a 10 minute recipe. As always, guys, I thank you guys so much for tuning in. Everybody stay safe and stay blessed.